Elon Musk just got sued by the US government. He's being accused by the SEC of dodging regulators when it came to his Twitter takeover. Elon failed to appear for testimony on September 15th and the SEC is suing in retaliation. Government officials are upset because when you buy 5% or more of a company, you have 10 days to disclose that. Well, Elon bought 9% and then filed 21 days late. Elon fired back. He said, look guys, I've already sat with you twice regarding this probe, and not only that, there's a new book. And Elon's lawyers are gonna need a little additional time to review all the information that's within the biography. Experts in the field like law professor Adam Pritchard, who has a great haircut, they're saying how unusual it is for someone to fight the SEC in this way. Adam says, witnesses cooperate because resistance is generally futile. Resistance is generally futile. These people sound like Star Trek villains. It ain't easy taking on the SEC and winning, but Elon seems willing and able. So who do you want to win? Elon Musk or the SEC? Let me know in the comments. I have said this since 2021, since I first ever appeared on this camera. You are not going to out-trade Justin Sun. Look it up. He catches tops. He catches bottoms. And it signals that he's a long-term bullish in crypto's ecosystem because if Bitcoin was going to fall, Tron's going to fall, and I don't think he would uh, be investing all this money. So I feel like uh, Justin feels like there's a reversal in the markets here. So mm -hmm. I'm not saying I'm super uh, bullish on Tron, but I'm super bullish on Justin Sun being super bullish. System is rigged. Have you ever thought about how it could be that your parents and your grandparents were able to buy a house by the time they were 30? Well, everything's different. Look at how the government is managing, AKA mismanaging the budgets of this nation. Money is different. Income is different. You know what's not different? Prices going up while incomes stay relatively low. Look at this metric right here. Over the last 25 or 30 years, you can see the cost of housing has gone through the roof. While Wow, average household income, very steady and slow incline. It seems to be set up to keep you where you're at and not able to participate in this economy. The average cost of a family home, around $400,000 to $500,000, ends up costing a million dollars or more. How are you supposed to get ahead? There's a new emerging asset class. If you haven't heard about it yet, it's called Bitcoin. If you want to learn more about this, head over to bitlabacademy.com. Tune in to Discover Crypto daily at 10.30 a.m. and tune into the BitLab daily stream at 11.30. We'll see you there and we'll figure out a strategy to together on how we cannot get left behind. I'd rather have crypto.com or Coinbase. I think I'd rather have Coinbase, to be honest. Coinbase is public. There's more transparency. Coinbase going for FTX at a time. They're thinking about the profits, just like Doug said. It's all about futures. Futures brings a lot of money. And as a public company, you got to make profit. So Coinbase is more trustworthy than crypto.com. Crypto.com had that the LA stadium, but I don't know if they're going to end up sticking with that naming rights. It costs like a hundred million dollars. I, I, I trust Coinbase more, but uh, maybe it's just that bald head. Okay. Does anybody out there really think that Nancy Pelosi wants congressional members to be banned from trading stocks? Should members of Congress and their spouses be banned from trading individual stocks while serving in Congress? No, I don't know to the second one. Why should, why should yeah. they be banned? Because uh, this is a free market and people we are a free market economy. They should be able to participate in that. While serving 36 years in Congress with an annual salary of $223,000, she's increased her net worth to an estimated $120 million. It's been a really bad week for insider trader allegations in Congress and the Senate. A former U.S. congressman has been sentenced to 22 months in jail for insider trading. Stephen Beyer it looks like traded on inside information about mergers earning up to $350,000. Not a great look. We also have the FBI and IRS indicting Senator Bob Mendez and his wife on charges of bribery and accepting $400,000 worth of gold bars. That's insane. All of this news is breaking as Congress is considering a new bill to ban Congress from trading stocks and it's going to be making its way to congressional members in the next few months. Something needs to be done. Think about this. The combined net worth of the 50 richest congressional members in our government sits at a $4.8 billion value right now. With an average salary of $174,000 per year, these 50 members would have to work for... My bad. No, it's okay. With an average salary of $174,000 per year, this 50-person group in Congress would have to work for 27,400 years to make that amount of money. Michael fired back at Tether, didn't name Tether, but he said one half 
of the stablecoin market as counterfeiting the U.S. dollar. Well, if you do the math, there's only one possible entity that could be half of the stablecoin market. That's Tether, folks. So he's basically saying Tether is printing counterfeit dollars. Okay, does anybody out there really think that Nancy Pelosi wants congressional members to be banned from trading stocks? Should members of Congress and their spouses be banned from trading individual stocks while serving in Congress? No, I don't know to the second one. Why should, why should yeah. they be banned? Because uh, this is a free market and people, we are a free market economy, they should be able to participate in that. While serving 36 years in Congress with an annual salary of $223,000, she's increased her net worth to an estimated $120 million. It's been a really bad week for insider trader allegations in Congress and the Senate. A former U.S. congressman has been sentenced to 22 months in jail for insider trading. Stephen Beyer who looks like traded on inside information about mergers earning up to $350,000. Not a great look. We also have the FBI and IRS indicting Senator Bob Mendez and his wife on charges of bribery and accepting $400,000 worth of gold bars. That's insane. All of this news is breaking as Congress is considering a new bill to ban Congress from trading stocks and it's going to be making its way to congressional members in the next few months. Something needs to be done. Think about this. The combined net worth of the 50 richest congressional members in our government sits at a $4.8 billion value right now. With an average salary of $174,000 per year, these 50 members would have to work for... My bad. No, it's okay. With an average salary of $174,000 per year, this 50-person group in Congress would have to work for 27,400 years to make that amount of money. Everybody's wondering, when is Bitcoin going to finally start pushing up? When is it going to moon? Well, the on-chain data shows that non-whale addresses, a.k.a. the shrimps, you and me, retail, it just hit an all-time high with supply held of Bitcoin, whereas the whale addresses with Bitcoin from 100 to 100,000 Bitcoin has just hit its lowest level. I want to swim with the whales. They're not yet buying. Does this mean opportunity is there? Tune into the BitLab Academy daily stream at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time and discover crypto at 11.30. I'll see you there. We'll break it down. MGM and its subsidiaries have fallen victim to a cyber attack in Las Vegas over the last week. This has caused losses of up to a million dollars per day as the casino and its slot machines continue to be inoperable. Many people have canceled reservations and even some employees are unable to be paid. It also is reported that Caesars came out admitting that they paid off millions of dollars to hackers to avoid the same fate not just days ago. Crypto venture capitalists have some of the biggest wins in investing and Paradigm is one of the top VCs with over $10 billion. We talked about their Chainlink investment before. If you put in $125 right there, you could have sold for 25,000 bucks. Well, I have a list of every coin that they're invested in and they have a coin under a dollar that I'm keeping my eye on. It's called Gitcoin and Gitcoin is trading at 91 cents and at one point it reached almost $25. Gitcoin has 60% of their coins in circulation and if their next price can just double the previous bull run, you're looking at a 55X from here. If you put in just 60 bucks, which is the cost of a video game at that price target, that will be worth $3,000. I just bought 50 of them for 46 bucks and guys, I think I'll see you at the top because we all know what kind of coin do I want to hold into the next bull market? I want to hold a coin that has partnerships, it has utility that is building out their community. What coin is doing that? Matic. Here's why. You guys understand how many partners Matic has? It's literally ridiculous. DraftKings, Adobe, National Football League, Starbucks, Adidas and Prada, Walt Disney, Meta, Stripe, Reddit, and nothing, of course. Look at what the hell your strategy is. It's not the market taking advantage of you. It's your lack of strategy or the strategy that you're using not being effective. So we need to check in with ourselves. It's not just trading. It's our relationships. It's our self. It's our self-esteem. It's our skill in the gym. It's our skill at playing guitar. Whatever it is, it's nobody's fault except our own inability to have discipline and to implement a strategy that's effective. And if something's not working, it's not the market.
this always happens. This is negative self uh, this negative self-fulfilling prophecy bullshit doesn't serve you and it doesn't serve me. What serves us is say, man, this didn't go the way I expected. What can I change? What can I do? And that's what we're here for at BitLab Academy. It's community, it's tools, it's skills, it's strategies, it's context, it's understanding what's going on so that we can take control of our future. If you don't have a strategy, then why don't you just go ahead and uh, I'll send you my bank account. You could just send me money mm -hmm. because that's what you're doing if you're in the markets without a strategy. So Yikes. if you're looking at the daily chart zoomed out, it doesn't look like anything happened at all. If you're looking wow. at the one hour chart, oh my God, to the moon. It, all that's happened right now is trapping people in hope and fear. Dreesen Horowitz has one of the best track records when it comes to investing in crypto projects. He got early into synthetics. And if you would have put just $20 into synthetics in January 2019 and sold at 25, your $20 would have turned into 13,000 bucks. This is what they're investing in today. Now it's too early to get the token, but one of these might have an airdrop. I'm talking about layer zero and they have raised a quarter billion dollars. So this airdrop might be massive. Not only that, they're backed by Binance, Sequoia, Coinbase, and Circle. So how do you qualify? It's something anyone could do. You gotta do some bridging, add some liquidity, do some swapping, do some staking. This is a step-by-step -step guide and I got a link below that's gonna detail everything for you. And if we get this massive amount of money in this free airdrop, you can see why. Do you wanna know the way to invest in the next 100X crypto gem? Well, do what the whales are doing. Venture capitalists pour billions into crypto projects and I have the top three venture capitalists for you. Number three, we have Andreessen Horowitz, also known as A16Z. They have $3 billion in assets under management, and they were early investors in synthetics. You could have got synthetics for under a nickel and then sold for over $25. $100 would have turned into 50000 bucks. Then we have Paradigm. They have $10 billion in assets under management, and they were early in Chainlink. It's one of my favorite coins. You could have got in at $0.25 cents and then sold at $50. And then number one, we have Coinbase Ventures. They have $30 billion in assets under management. Hit like for the next video because we're going to tell you the next wave of coins that they're investing in.